to River State, where the federal government says it is implementing strategies to power one million vehicles with compressed natural gas within the next three years. The drivers of this initiative explained details of the procedure at a key player's engagement in Port Harcourt. Correspondent Uche Okoro reports. The cost of fuel such as petrol and diesel, the availability and damage to the environment is a major talking point. With the global advocacy for energy transition gaining momentum, the presidential CNG initiative is leading the charge towards sustainable energy solutions through compressed natural gas which is considered to be cheaper, cleaner and safer. We are hoping that state governments private sector, industry players, and organizations from the South-South region gathered here would buy into this vision. There's enough demand for natural gas. What we need to do now is to put in place the technology, the pipeline, the virtual pipeline, the mother station, the fueling station. When we convert our vehicle, one million vehicles, when we convert it, we save the country about 2.5 to $3 billion a year. And that is just one million vehicles. That will save us 6 million liters a day. And that is money that we should can spend on hospitals, we can spend on roads, as the case may be. CNG powered buses. Nigeria is reported to have the largest gas reserve in Africa, but also ranks second amongst countries that flare the largest amount of the resource. To produce gas. The experts say achieving maximum gas utilization in the country holds great potential for the economy, starting from the cost of transportation. It doesn't make sense that we should be exporting our natural gas to Japan, and Japan then exports their petrol gas to us, and then we now import petrol that is much, much more expensive than natural gas to fuel the cars, cheap cars that Japan have sent us because they have our natural gas. The president said, no, 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 we are not going to keep doing the same thing. We will, not, we will stop subsidizing poverty, importing uh, uh, unemployment and exporting jobs, and we will now focus on using our own uh, natural gas to drive our, our transportation sector. Nigeria's future in gas looks bright, but with all that optimism comes concerns about sensitization, safety, and sustainability. Yes, there's gas all over the place in Nigeria, but if it's not drilled, if it's not piped, if it's not taken out, then it's not available. The presidential CNG initiative says it would need 250 billion naira annually to achieve its conversion target of 1 million vehicles in three years. But outside budgetary allocations, much of the funding in the long term is expected to come from private sector investments. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.